his trauma ministry and he's not really being in the day to day running of things. He just he'll, um, he's in residence. Yeah. But he left out with masses. I think it's a decent homily. He does. He did good at um, O'Leary's. Real nice job. Oh, yeah. Good morning and welcome to St. Ambrose. Our opening song today is number 311, Table of Plenty, in the Breaking Bread Hymnal, number 311. Christ and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. And with, and with your spirit. spirit. The eternal Son of the Father took, took on our human flesh and our human nature to become one of us to save us from two things. Maybe three. Sin and death and ourself. We gather to partake of the bread of life, the very body and blood of our Lord Jesus, who gives himself to us in a way that changes our life. Well, let's acknowledge our own need for healing and forgiveness and so prepare ourselves to hear the word of God and to celebrate our communion in Christ. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. 
Amen. Amen. sacrament have left us a memorial of your passion. Grant us, we pray, so to revere the sacred mysteries of your body and blood, that we may always experience in ourselves the fruits of your redemption, who live and reign with God the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, Remember how for 40 years now the Lord your God has directed all your journeying in the desert so as to test you by affliction and to find out whether or not it was your intention to keep his commandments. He therefore led you to be afflicted with hunger and then fed you with manna a food unknown to you and your fathers, in order to show you that not by bread alone does one live, but by every word that comes forth from the mouth of the Lord. Do not forget the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, that place of slavery, who guided you through the vast and terrible desert, with its seraph ser serpents and scorpions, its parched and waterless ground, who brought forth water for you from the flinty rock and fed you in the desert with manna, a food unknown to your fathers. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? Because the loaf of bread is one, we, though many, are one body. For we all partake of the one loaf. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks to God. God. Please remain seated for the reading of the sequence. Lo, the angel's food is given to the pilgrim who has striven. See the children's bread from heaven, which on dogs may not be spent. Truth the ancient types fulfilling, Isaac bound, a victim willing. Paschal lamb, its lifeblood spilling, manna to the father sent. Very bread, good shepherd, tend us. Jesu, of your love, Befriend us. Your eternal goodness send us in the land of life to see. You who all things can and know, who on earth such food bestow, grant us with your saints the lowest, where the heavenly feast you show, fellow heirs and guests. Amen. Hallelujah. said to the Jewish crowds, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the light of the world. The Jews quarreled among themselves, saying, How can this man give us his flesh to eat? Jesus said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, Unless you eat the flesh of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you do not have life within you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life, and I will raise him on the last day. For my flesh is true food, and my blood is true drink. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me, and I in him. Just as the living Father sent me, and I have life because of the Father, so also the one who feeds me will have life because of me. This is the bread that came down from heaven. Unlike your ancestors who ate and still died, whoever eats this bread will live forever. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ.
God is good all the time. and all the time. God is good. So I would like to begin my reflection this morning, a, a short one, with just a stanza of, I am the bread of life. I know I had not told Beth, but uh, I know all of you know that song, right? Just the gospel we just read, I am the bread of life. Beth, will you intone for me? Only one stanza. Bread of life, you, you come, come to me, shall not hunger, hunger, and you believe in me, shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father beckons, and I will raise you all, and I will raise. you to uh, just imagine with me. I am happy to make a great, a great worldwide announcement about two brand new products. The first one is a brand new cereal loaded with the minimum daily requirements of vitamins and, uh, and minerals. In addition, it normalizes blood pressure and reestablishes your body's proper level of cholesterol. Just one ball restores you to your perfect weight by melting and painlessly flushing away excess, all excess fat. The second product is modified water bottled in biodegradable material that builds muscle mass and strength through your normal daily activities, making any extra exercise unnecessary. Even while you sleep, this modified water also restores lost and damaged brain cells. So there is no memory loss, senility, or dementia. These uh, two new products will be available to everyone. They will be distributed worldwide through grocery stores, street vendors, and charitable organizations. And best of all, they are free. Who would not ru uh, rush out of here to get this new food and drink? I think I would. <laughs> So today we celebrate the solemnity of the most holy body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi, where we are reminded to recognize that it is the true presence, body and soul, no, body and blood, soul and divinity of Jesus Christ, the new food and drink, even better than my imaginary food and drink. God gave the Israelites new food and drink and he reminded them that they had been taken care of quite well. There are two key words from our first reading today. Remember and then do not forget. You remember uh, they, were, they were just about to enter the promised land and Moses stops there and reminds them how God has been good to them and how he has, he has led them through all the, uh, the challenges and fed them and even gave them drink. So God freed their ancestors from, slave, uh, from slavery. God guided them through treacherous territory filled with life-threatening creatures. And to satisfy their thirst in the desert, God made water flow from the rock. And when they were hungry, God gave them new food every morning and every evening, which they called manna. Jesus also
told his disciples that he was giving them a new, uh, new food and drink. And the one who eats this food and drink would remain in him. And he would remain in them. Thus, they will have life. And he will raise them up. And they will live forever. I would like you to notice that Jesus began by speaking in the present tense. The one who eats his flesh and drinks his blood has eternal life. So eternal life is God's life. It is divine life. It is not just a reference to time, <coughs> everlasting life, or life that lasts forever, but the actual life of God, the divine life. So what we receive is God's own life so that today we abide in God and God abides in us. Not just sometime in the future, but right now. Jesus offers us, his disciples, a new food and a new drink. And how did the people respond? They quarreled. Some were skeptical and others even walked away. We've all been invited here to partake in the eternal life of God who created the universe. We are invited here to receive the wisdom and guidance of God's own spirit who guides all of creation. We have been called to participate in the body and blood of Jesus, the Redeemer of the world. We take on the very mind and heart of God. God has already shared in our humanity, and now we are invited to share in his divinity, his eternal life. Now, who would, who, who would not rush here to get this great food and drink? And what could possibly keep us away? We are all invited. And this is free food which gives life eternal. So I would like us to remember three things. We are all invited to partake in this life-giving meal. And in a few minutes, uh, we'll all uh, move on to the liturgy of the Eucharist. Now, what keeps me from partaking in this meal? And how do I prepare myself to partake in this meal? Which is also called communion. We all partake in the one bread. That's the second reading, very powerful. We share in the one bread that communion, that sacrament of unity. So today, remember those three things. We are all invited. You are invited. And what is keeping me from participating in this meal? And how do I prepare myself uh, to partake and to receive this meal, the body and blood of Christ, to receive eternal life? In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Let's stand together now and profess our faith. I believe in, in one God, God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. 
I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of the Father, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from the light, true God from true God, begotten and not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified in Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now with confidence, let us bring our prayers before the Lord. For the church, Christ's body on earth, may God strengthen us to joyfully live our faith, bringing glory to our Heavenly Father. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who hold political or civic authority, may God guide them in protecting and providing for the weak, especially those who have no voice. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For broken and wounded families, may the love of Christ bring healing and reconciliation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For this community of faith, may the Holy Spirit inspire us in every word and deed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, as they received his body and his blood in this life, may Jesus receive them into his heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those in our book of intentions and those calling and requesting prayer, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For our sister diocese in Lodwar, Kenya, our sister parish in Guatemala, and our St. Ambrose Parish family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For the repose of the soul of Judy Mayer, sister of John and Kathy Kegel, who died this week, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For Maria Nguyen Tai Mao and Bob Rafferty, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us call upon the, the intercession of our Blessed Mother as we say, Hail, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord, Lord, Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. 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 Amen.
Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice. The praise and glory of his name. For our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant your church, O Lord, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace whose signs are to be seen in mystery in the offerings we here present through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift lift them up to the Lord. Let us give (laughs) thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the Last Supper with his apostles, establishing for the ages to come the saving memorial of the cross, he offered himself to you as the unblemished lamb the acceptable gift of perfect praise. Nourishing your faithful by this sacred mystery, you make them holy so that the human race bounded by one world may be enlightened by one faith and united by one bond of charity. And so we approach the table of this wondrous sacrifice so that, bathed in the sweetness of your grace, we may pass over to the heavenly realities here foreshadowed. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song of adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously Make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to, to reconcile us to yourself, Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and glorious mothers, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Paul, our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are, who are pleasing to you as they are passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. <coughs> through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command and formed by Jesus' own divine teaching, we have the confidence to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom the power, and the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. <laughs> O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. 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 Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say, say the word and my soul shall be healed. Our communion song is number 355, Bread of Life. <clears throat> number 355. <laughs>
Father John P. to St. Ambrose and for participating in his missionary cooperative plan. A reminder that our annual St. Ambrose Golf Tournament will be on Saturday, July 29th at Eastern Hills Golf Club. Registration forms are available back in the vestibule. You're invited to participate in many ways, as a golfer, a volunteer, or a sponsor. We do now need all of you. The vote of candles will be blazing bright again next Sunday as a sign of our regard and prayers for our fathers in our church. We invite you to make a donation and take a card for your special person expressing your prayer intentions. Please see the insert in this week's bulletin for more information. The Bishop's Annual Appeal Achievement Celebration is right after this Mass today in the Parish Hall. Come and enjoy refreshments and watch the drawing for the gift. Last week. So I just have three things. Uh, next week is only three. <laughs> so next week is Father's Day. Uh, and we love our fathers the way we love our mothers, right? So I would like next week all the candles to be lit. So for all the fathers here, and those who are not even here, so just visit there, and just, there are some instructions there, do something, right? Good. And then uh, today, uh, after this Mass, all of us are invited to go and celebrate our efforts. We did very well with our Bishop's Annual Appeal 2023, and it is worth celebrating. And since almost half of our congregation is not here, we might have more gift cards than the, the people. <laughs> so you better, unless all of us go uh, right there. Yes. And then since last Sunday, uh, we had uh, the visiting priest, 
So we didn't get a chance to celebrate uh, those who are born in the month of June or those who have anniversaries this month. Anybody who was born in the month of June? Oh, I see. Bill and John. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, and even Deacon <laughs> Hannah. <laughs> okay. Let's sing for them. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Now, anybody who got married in the month of June? Oh, wonderful, please. Oh, he has, he has double today. Oh, even Shirley. Oh, wonderful. Oh, even Orlando. Okay, let's sing for them. Finally, I know the schools have closed now. So we have those who, who finished college, those who finished high school, those who are going to high school, and those who are going to the next grade. So all of them, I want to, them to come close by. Come. All our students. Yeah, you can also bring the babies, they'll be going to kindergarten. <laughs> line up, come close here, one line, like this. Ethan, uh, Ethan come. Yeah. So we are going to offer a special blessing for all of them as they make progress. So all the parents and grandparents also extend your hands like this, we give them our blessings. God, our Father, we gather around the young people in our, in our circle of love and care, and we lift them up to you. We thank you for the grade by which they have come to the end of another year of formal education. The collegians, the high schoolers in every grade, those in the middle grades, and those in the primary grades. And we thank you especially for those who have completed their schooling, at whatever level, the graduates. A great deal of work may have gone into seeing them through this day. Their own work, the encouragement of their families, the perseverance of their instructors. Thank you, loving God, for the, your grace with us all on, on our way through life. As we are with these young ones today to mark their accomplishment, Help us to stay attentive to their needs and to be ready with our assistance for whatever is needed in their future. They belong to us and we to them. We all belong to you. Bless us all, we pray, God of truth and love, and make each of us a blessing to, to the others. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, just wait. Yeah. You have to complete the blessing. Please clap for them as they make progress. Thank you, thank you so much.
Let's all stand now and pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray that we may delight for all eternity in that share in your divine life, which is foreshadowed in the present age by our reception of your precious body and blood, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads for the blessing. Dear God, our Father, we bring our loved ones before you in celebration of their birthdays and anniversaries. Thank you for the blessings you have given them in life. We pray that we pray for your light and protection for as long as they live. Help them to know how beloved and cherished they are. Look after them in the year ahead, we pray. May they know your peace and strength when they awake each day and your comfort and rest when they lie down to sleep. May their future be filled with hope in you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless us all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Mass is ended. Let us go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Our closing song is number 329, I Am the Bread of Life. And we're going straight over to the other building. <laughs>